So when we do uh, Shomonuchi on the back, uh, oh, strike's here, but intention is here, down here. Okay, so we're going to lower that. And uh, we'll go in there this way. There is a timing, so when my weight settles, is when I should be at full impact of the strike. So I'm not settling, then my hand. There is a slight delay. I just don't want to hit here and then my foot. But there's a place where my weight is heavy. So when I'm practicing on the bag, especially a focus mitt, I'm not trying for power, I'm trying for timing and geometry. So I'm actually going to learn to take my, my flexion out of it and just let the weight of my hand do everything. Okay? So if my foot is to the left, you're going to find that's not the spot. Okay? It's going to be inside my front leg. Boom, boom. In alignment with my center, more or less. Okay, so my hands up. And just let the weight do it. Hey, Tristan, come on up. Okay, so that, that's what he's trying for. Good. Sweet. Good. Good. Very good. Go up my hole again. Good. Okay. All right, let's go. So a very common mistake, especially when you're trying to find the internal aspects of the heart, is you have tension in, in the lower legs, and then you can't get a settling down. You're actually light. Energy can't go in and out of you. So, and, and another, um, so you're very unaware of that. And then another misconception is if I feel myself flexing, then I feel powerful. So, and I, I feel that I am powerful because I felt my flexion. And this is a very incorrect uh, way of assessing. So, you can see you barely touched the back. So, uh, what happens when you add all that flexion is you actually are slowing down the strike way prior, way prematurely, and there's not much penetration. So, oh, I flex and I hit, it makes me feel strong, but it's way better if I just learn to swing my fist, okay? You're going to get way more energy transference that way. So we'll go to Yokomen, and it's the same thing, there's going to be a spot where this is going to be heavy, it's going to be in alignment with my center. It's not going to be over here with my foot. So my foot should step to the right of Yoko Menuchi. And then, same thing, just swing the arm like a mace. I kind of feel like you want your blood to go to your fingertips. And then make sure the, the legs are relaxing. And you just hit that spot home. Bring extra attention to the tenseness in your lower leg. Okay? Okay, so uh, yoga line, you can, of course, throw it to the temple. Uh, you can throw here on the orbital socket. Uh, this is always good to the uh, carotid area of the neck. And you also have these rib cages underneath, okay? Um, so, it's, it's the beauty of the yoga strike is you don't have to lift the elbow and expose the loop cage to, uh, to hit, not, not taking anything away from uh, hooks and crosses and things like that, but there might be a reason why you're not wanting to expose yourself. Uh, and so you, uh, yoga men can do those things, right? Um, uh, for example, this, this little short hook might not do anything, oh, but uh, yoga men might be able to generate enough displacing power um, that you're getting in there. So, um, again, so we're here, we'll go one, just target awareness, boom, two, uh, you can hit here, this way, orbital socket, and then boom, here in the rib cage, okay? Uh, and then one thing to note is the flexion of your arm cannot accelerate your arm. This is a, a mistake a beginner makes. Again, it's related to if I feel flex, my own flexion, I feel powerful. If I feel flexion, I feel like I'm moving fast. 
and it's not true. So you can't flex this arm the whole time. It, it, it will never move. It can, nothing about this is moving. So you can see that if I'm throwing my strike and I'm starting to flex that, it's actually slowing me down as I'm moving. So the, the strike is moving more from the hip, the back, uh, and the shoulder area, right? So you, you don't need this and you don't want that. So um, that way you're fast. The, the strike is very, very fast. Uh, and I'm not <clears throat> doing this kind of stuff, okay? So just target awareness, boom, one, temple area, two, boom, orbital socket area, three, boom, carotid arm area, and boom, rib cage, all right, let's go. Okay, then uh, shoulder energy up in this part, position of this body, uh, you might have to play with it a little. Um, so for example, close, you close the, the uh, knife edge into a hammer fist, okay? And then you're gonna have the bridge of the nose here, clavicle here, and then, so Shomonuchi's going up, up, and forget this part of the Shomonuchi, and pay attention to this part, boom, and you have your, your upward elbow. Okay, so we'll do that. Go full, bop, hit one, boom, hit two, and boom, hit three. Again, I'm going boom, hit, clavicle, and then boom, up top. Okay, try it. Okay, so your, your strikes can't be scoring points. Uh, things must be displaced or destroyed, okay? So, um, when I, when I, uh, he's taller than me. So if I come up like this, uh, there's not much power in here because it's higher than I wanted. So that's why I'm bringing him down. Boom! And he's coming into the elbow, okay? So I, then this hand, don't leave with your fingers. This is a mass boy strike there. Boom! When I hit there. So boom! I'm coming in and hitting, okay? So it's a boom! Hit here and at the same time, boom! Coming, coming up, okay? Um, so you can see like boom! I, so there, there's a mass displacement that's happening. Okay? Uh, it's not me just touching him. Okay? Uh, same thing, so when I do this shot, when I'm coming down, it's, it's got to, boom, have my, that same settling. So it's actually going to displace his tissue and his face. Okay? So it's safe. when I'm here, I'll do, it, I'll do it on his chest, like, boom, and there's going to be a mass displacement. So you have to have the same setup you're working in on the bag, okay? Um, if you're shooting for that clavicle, it doesn't do anything if you don't break it. So you can't uh, just kind of go, oh, I got to your clavicle. It's a displacing strike, okay? So my, my weight is boom, it's dropping, dropping on that thing when I hit it, okay? So just like when you had the bag, this thing has to hit boom, in that sweet spot of where is my mass dropping. Same, same thing here. Pop, has to hit here. Boom, elbow has to hit down here, not up here. And then on this one, boom, same thing. Boom, everything has to move forward because boom, that's my target now, okay? It's gotta be mass displacing.